Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys, hanging out with my sleepy little sidekick, Mega Good Vibes, and we are on to do messages from the Divine Masculines. Oh, let me just fix your ruffled fur. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, you know, there's a heavy energy right now, and I feel like where the heavy energy is coming from is your masculine, okay? Um, a lot of you who maybe have found this reading or you stumbled across it somehow maybe the title of the reading resonates i feel like a lot of you have your masculine's energy holding you back in a sense uh it's like they can feel you moving forward and it's very triggering okay you may be distancing yourself from this masculine and that's uh, that's you moving forward i feel like you're moving forward from it, the twin flame connection to your masculine in a sense and many of you are just focusing on your individual journey right now it's like you need a time out from the energy a lot of you have been stalked <laughs> by your masculines as well um so a lot of you um you know you have been feeling just very bombarded with their energy because i know for a lot of you who feel just kind of cornered by the energy you may be getting a lot of fake phone calls a lot of text messages if they're still in karmic situations these karmic situations are harassing you guys as well um it, and it, it i feel like that's why many of you are just like i need a time out i need distance from this connection but the thing is is like it's driving your masculine insane and it may be making some of them feel um like they're going crazy in a sense let's get your masculine's energy okay how do they feel about you creating this distance how do they feel about you moving forward and moving on what's the masculine's energy like so we have north node cosmic and purpose they may know that you're distancing yourself for a reason and they can't fight it or they can't hold back against it i also see too that many of you are protected and your masculines and whoever they're around karmic wise are seeing that you're protected too because i feel like people may be just sending you the bad eye and maybe your masculines could be going through like a tower moment we have rebirth so they could be going through the death card as well um, because we know after after re after death sorry comes the rebirth or maybe like the transformation they could be going through a transformation but before they kind of squeeze through that before they get to the transformation they kind of have to squeeze through the tube i don't know why i'm hearing that but it's like a lot of your masculines could feel very affected by you creating space and distance and they didn't think that they would be affected by it like they keep trying to tell themselves they're fine with the separation or the distance um, but i feel like it speaks volumes and like the actions that many of them may be taking okay so this winter is bringing about a rebirth so spring might be a really beautiful time for some of you where your your masculine maybe finish like finishing or completing like a, a, a really heavy purging cycle and one of the things that keeps coming up right now is like if if i don't care about this person okay so this may be you who's watching if they don't care about you then it's like why do they feel so affected by now you taking the reins and distancing yourself from them and moving forward okay and i feel too with this north node with this cosmic card um like it's your divine gift to be protected like many of you too might be feeling like wow i don't know why i feel so detached um but it's for a reason it's because a lot of you guys are being protected okay many of you could be feeling the courage to create some kind of change in your life the change could very well be this distance away from this masculine this journey many of you may be relocating at this time um, i feel too that uh, after winter um, this could be even your energy reflected as well in the rebirth and winter card but a lot of you just want to do something different uh, experience something different i feel like that's why the change and the courage card is coming up many of you may be changing the way that you look like maybe you might be getting a haircut you might change up your wardrobe i feel too like the spring energy is bringing in this like i can't wait to enjoy the summer energy or i can't wait for the seasons to change many of you are welcoming in the sunlight okay so a lot of growth happening for a lot of you and the thing is is that you guys are doing it in this very like detached energy it's like you don't mean anybody any harm you just want to be left alone i feel too like for a lot of you if um if you guys have been feeling cornered by your masculine's energy you see how we have this 
deception and temptation card coming out it's this very stalker energy i'm getting from a lot of your masculines okay because they could be sensing that you guys are wanting to move forward maybe you guys have them blocked and it's it's like a soul shock to them that you have them blocked because now they want to know what you're up to right a lot of you are fighting this energy of temptation as well um because when you feel your masculine's energy around you very strongly, it can feel at times dark, especially if they're going going through tower moments or the death card, dark night of the soul. Uh, they, it's like pulling on your energy. You, it's like misery loves company, but I feel like a lot of you aren't letting this stop you. And that's where many of you are feeling like you know that you have protection around you. Nothing is stopping you from moving forward. And I and what's causing your masculines too to corner your energy? It's like they don't want you to move forward because if you're moving forward, then they have to go through some kind of rebirth, right? And they can feel that coming because I feel like a lot of you are just not impressed <laughs> at this point. Like, because a lot of you will continue to do the spiritual work. And if your masculine doesn't match the vibration that you're in, then you don't feel uh, the, the attraction. It's like you've healed from being attracted to someone at that vibrational level so it's kind of like you've outgrown your masculine's vibration that they're currently in so this heavy energy that a lot of them are going through it's like it reminds me of like venom like you know when you <laughs> you're like trying to peel away from the venom suit i feel like many of them are trying to really resist that change that they've got to go through which is lifting their vibration in some way they're trying to do things that are different but there there's this um feeling of trying to trigger you divine feminine along the way and i don't know why but it's like some of your masculines want you to like hold their hand throughout this journey stay with them where they are but you know you can't you physically cannot the universe will change stuff up for you even if the universe has to relocate you um the universe will create all kinds of different detours in your life um, so that you continue to grow where it is you're at. Um, let's get, let's get some tarot. Um, what are your masculines working on right now throughout this purge? Like what kind of feelings are coming up? What kind of lessons, thoughts, emotions? Because I'm trying to get to the bottom of like what it is they're so afraid of. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. So many of them could be... Like, I, I'm hearing money. Okay, money is really important to this masculine, but they're at a page level. They might be really triggered that you have excelled in some way. You could be the Queen of Pentacles here, dealing with a Page of Pentacles. This could be why they want you to stay stuck or stay triggered. A lot of your masculines, too, could be in this Page of Pentacles energy, which is constantly trying to get something off the ground okay the problem is is that they keep trying to take shortcuts or they keep attracting karmic energy into their life that is sabotaging them getting something off of the the ground because i feel like page energy it's like young or like i'm hearing entry level like they can't seem to elevate away from trying to earn money at an entry level because i feel like like your masculines take this whole twin flame thing a lot more seriously than you guys might realize eh like you okay like i feel like you're the divine feminine and they might feel like you're crazy for believing in twin flames but when they see you elevate and excel and vibrate at such a high frequency you've surpassed this kind of entry level many of you may be entrepreneurs because of this journey you've taken on some type of creative work or you're, even like your vibration has shifted and maybe you guys are getting like promotions like crazy you guys could be working your regular jobs and then taking up um, a creative passion on the side where it's like you know you may work for someone else but at the same time something creative has changed in you where it's like more in more there's more of an influx of abundance coming through because of something you've been able to create from this feminine energy now Although your masculines want to look at you guys like you guys are crazy for believing in twin flames, they also get triggered by it because it's like, if that's my twin flame, then how come you're where you're at and I'm still stuck in these karmic cycles? And it's because of temptation. Temptation kind of goes hand in hand with addictions as well. And that's why I was saying like a lot of your masculines may be very focused on like wanting more money, but 
because of temptation, because of the allowing things to deceive them, they keep getting caught up in the same uh, loops, okay? So they, they may be tempted by karmics who, I want to say, like, like to live like a party lifestyle or a very flashy lifestyle a lot of your masculines too could be wanting um like to have a sense of groundedness in their life like if they had a partner who supported their endeavors because you know sometimes like if you want to start a business or if you want to like move away from the regular job that you're doing which is like you know your typical nine to five you you have another employer um, I feel like many of your masculines want to move out of that. They don't want to report to someone. They want to have their own um, endeavor, okay? But I feel like in life, you have to sacrifice and you have to build and you have to lay low. And that's why many of your masculines cannot get away from this page energy when it comes to building their pentacles because there's something about their energy that doesn't know how to like lay low and sacrifice um, because they're always in this page energy, always looking for the next, you know, best time or um, kind of like a temporary good time. And then after it's all over, they can't even enjoy it because then they're like, damn, like, look at my bank accounts. Like, why did I have to go and like party like that or take that trip when really I should have been using that money to either invest or to build? Because um, again, they get really triggered over seeing the way that you may do things. A lot of you could be this Queen of Pentacles here. Let's get your energy. Why are they so triggered by your energy? What? How do they see you? How do they see the Divine Feminine? Okay, I'm going to take these two only because I feel like they wanted to just kind of flip over like that. Um, so they see, yeah, the world card, okay, extremely abundant. I feel like a lot of you are always having a good time. Um, the world card in itself is about just celebration. I feel like many of you are always pleasantly surprised that you always, you're always dipping and dodging these spiritual attacks. I feel like a lot of you are seen as very abundant. You just know how to create things. Many people may see you as very strange that you're able to just create um, opportunities or like money like I like I'm hearing I like the golden touch or the Isis touch or something like that like everything you touch turns to gold um, you're sitting on top of the world and also some of you could have this king energy okay so I was talking about the queen of pentacles earlier but many of you have this king energy about yourself now king of swords is you just get shit done okay you have this very beautiful kind of heartfelt, lighthearted feminine energy, but when it comes to your business or earning your money, I feel like you 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 get down to it, you mean business. You could be cutthroat in a sense where you don't mix matters when it comes to the way that you live or the type of lifestyle that you live. Um, you're very serious about when it comes uh, just to the way that you, you carry about your affairs, your integrity. You might have a lot of people that respect you or look up to you you're just in charge. I feel like you're in charge of your life and that's how this person sees you compared to being in this page energy. That's why I'm telling you guys. They look at you and they're like, well, if that's supposed to be my twin flame. Then, you know, how come they're in this energy and I can't seem to get my foot off the ground in a sense, okay? Or maybe even like both feet off the ground here with this uh, page. It's like they're always having a balance. They're, they just... They get to that point right where they can balance things, but I feel like with you, it's like watching you just kind of live life in a very abundant way. Okay, and that's a th a another thing too. Like many of you might be observing your masculines do things that, you know, it's this party lifestyle. It might seem very flashy, but I feel like what you guys don't know is like what the bank accounts look like. It may not even be able to support it. It's like someone who does all of these things, but then it's like they're in a lot of debt and they may not even let people know that or they might have habits of like okay it's okay you know what i'll just gamble and like try to make a lot of money to pay that off or like that's what i'm saying a lot of your masculines are, they've been taking shortcuts many of you have not been taking shortcuts and it kind of brings me back full circle to the beginning of the reading here which is this is why you're distancing yourself from this person this is why you can't feel them energetically uh, energetically okay um i'm gonna wrap up the reading guys and I'm like, I, I want to have compassion for the masculines too, just because I know what it's like to go through those tower moments, 
even on my own journey and it's like you keep doing the same shit you keep repeating stuff you keep going back to karmic cycles you know even me i've been through my fair share of karmic cycles as well and i've i've had my divine masculine you know ghost me walk away from me get really upset for me at times where it seemed as though he was ready to you know launch this thing and it's like i couldn't because of my my own circumstances so i i definitely know that a lot of your masculines like they carry a lot of the same energy like on the journey like they feel the heartache the heartbreak the triggering um, and right now like they feel alone because you're distancing yourself from them okay they understand that their vibration no longer matches so i'm gonna end this off by getting a card here from their heart space to let you guys know like what is underneath all of these feelings you know like many of them are really focused on you and they 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 could be again sending this kind of obsessive energy um also too for some of you it's like really wanting you to stay where you are type of thing so that it doesn't light the fire under their ass to get moving um that's what i'm getting but like i feel like underneath it all it's like there's this feeling of like that's my person and i don't want them to go i don't want you to go okay so let's see how your masculines are feeling in their heart space like um, like beneath all of this like muck all of this you know darker energy that tends to come up what is at the heart space for you divine feminine what are they learning what are they feeling at this moment underneath it all i'm hearing oh okay you know what i'm gonna do that again because i didn't feel good about that what are they feeling underneath it all Okay, so we have the wedding card coming up. And for me, I'm, I'm hearing that's when you said that's my person, okay? The situation involves marriage. It may not be a literal marriage, but they feel connected to you, which is why many of you are experiencing their energy so heavily because they know they're being affected by the distance that you're creating and how you guys know is you're feeling the heavy energy, right? But I feel like a lot of you are protecting yourselves, Many of you are decluttering your homes, you're getting ready for spring cleaning, you are feeling lighthearted, you know how to fight off these energetic attacks by keeping yourself immersed in a lot of your passions, things that make your vibration feel good, exercise, getting a lot of water in, spending time with family and friends, nurturing your children, your pets, your home, yourself. And that keeps you in that vibration of just continuing to move forward. Many of you aren't fighting this and I feel like you know beneath it all at this very moment is when your person is realizing more than ever how much you're connected as you create this distance all right guys so that's what i have for you for this one i hope you guys have enjoyed take it easy and we will catch you in the next reading okay bye guys